Mikey Ho. This the introduction. Yep, I'm introducing me. Six feet, 300 pounds, known to rock the newest sneaks. Cool and never fooling, rocking G-Shocks like it's jewelry. Counting mad currency, flowing better What's than going fluently. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, the wisest and proud of all nerds. Brimies is back in here with a YouTube video as to why the Star Wars prequels are better than the original trilogy. So guys, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to dislike this video if you already disagree with this video because I want to see all your hate. Comment below, guys. I want to see all your hate. I want to give you guys the smoke in the comments and in this video. Don't forget to cop some King Camara Brown Music shirts off my website. Link will be in the description below. And most importantly, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can continue to give you guys content every single day. So without further ado, may the force be with you. Let's get into the video. So guys, why the prequels are better than the original trilogy? No, it's actually a shame how I have to like explain this video, okay? Now guys, I want to point out the fact that yes, I understand this as a Star Wars fan or former, the former leading expert in Star Wars before the Trash Jedi movie came out. Uh, I have a view of it up, up there. That yes, I understand that the original trilogy was the original blockbuster series of all movies. Star Wars was literally the first blockbuster movie in human existence. I understand how Star Wars has impacted the whole movie franchise as a whole, more so than the prequels did in any other movie from here on out ever could. And those and that's because they were the first to do it. So it's like, for example, Breath of the Wild, right, is a great Zelda game. It's better than Zelda 1 in every way, for the most part. It's gonna be really hard for you to refute that because there's very few things you can do in Zelda 1 that you can't do in Breath of the Wild in a much grander scale, right? As far as exploration, as far as battle, any, any, anything that Zelda 1 offers, Breath of the Wild offers more and in spades in its entirety, as far as secrets, randomness, unknown elements, whatever. But you can't say that Breath of the Wild has a better impact on the whole video game industry than the original Zelda game because it can't. Zelda, you know, give you that free roam exploration is the first home console game that allowed like saves and all that type of stuff. So yeah, you can't, you know, say that the prequels can, can offer that more to the movie drama than the original trilogy. This, it can't be done 30 years later, right? But here's the thing. When you think about Star Wars, what's the first thing that you think about when it comes to Star Wars? Lightsaber building. Even like the most uneducated Star Wars nerd know what a lightsaber is. They know that they that they fight with laser swords. The fights in the prequels are better than the fights in the original trilogy. Those are facts. And there are people out there who are like, the weight and emotion behind these those fights is, you know, so much more. It's like, where? Where? Let's go, let's go to the Phantom Menace, right? Uh, uh, Alright, how about this? Episode 4. Obi-Wan versus Anakin or Darth Vader. At that point in time, guys, you have no reason why that fight even matters that much until you see the prequels. So let's skip that fight right there. And it's like one of the worst fights in all of Star Wars history. Have linked to the worst fights in, in Star Wars history. You look it up up here and I'll link below. It's it's a terrible fight. It was their first crack shot at at, at, at lightsaber doing this entire guys, and they didn't do a great job. It was it it, it was it was it was pitiful. I'm sorry, as a Star Wars fan, I gotta say that first fight was pitiful. Let's go to the second fight. Luke Skywalker versus his dad, Darth Vader, the first fight. It's a fairly decent fight even to this day. Like back in the day, it was been really hype and really crazy. But there's some weird parts about it, and I'm gonna show it back here. Like you know the when Darth Vader's like throwing like objects at him and Luke's getting smacked with these objects, and I know the novelization that it's a, a different kind of thing, but they didn't, they didn't do a good job of executing guys. But then it was never done before; they couldn't execute it that well, right? So yeah, I get it. But the, compared to him fighting his dad for the first time. And watch and look at the Phantom Menace. Obi Wan Kenobi watches Master get killed right in front of him by a Sith Lord, a being of forces that they thought were extinct at the time. So he just watched his home, his closest friend, literally get killed right in front of him, and now it's on. It's beef on the street. It's Tom versus Jerry, and they go right at it. Why? Because it's like, ain't no, I'm gonna see you next time. It's like, let's get it popping right now. And they show it. That's one of the best lightsaber duels in the entire Star Wars history. Let's go to episode three. Anakin versus, or, or Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Like you saw Anakin kill all those, those people at the, at, the, at the Jedi Temple and Obi-Wan still tries to save his friend and his Padawan from the dark side and they still got a fight to the death. How in any capacity did any of the fights in the original trilogy match to that on the emotional level? I'll tell you what, it doesn't. Not even close. And those are facts. Not opinions, facts. Second topic. Second topic here. There's more things that the original trilogy had to offer to the overall Star Wars lore, canon Star Wars lore, than the original trilogy. Alright? The prequels gave us what? The best comic books, except for the Darth Vader comic books, in Star Wars. They gave us the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars, for example, take place where? The prequels. It takes Star Wars Rebels. It takes right at the tail end or the beginning of, of the original trilogy. Which show is better? The Clone Wars. The Clone Wars is the best thing that's probably been offered from Star Wars, period. Even the Battlefront games. The Battlefront games, what, are best when what happens? You can play with more Jedi and stuff like that. The Battlefront games were bad when you couldn't play with that many Jedi or that many characters. Those are facts. Why? Because you don't want to be, because no matter how you slice it or look at it, guys, Jedis are what? Superheroes. They have supernatural powers. You don't watch Star Wars about people, average people like Han Solo or whatever. That's why Rogue One and the Solo movie aren't going to be the best Star Wars movie, and they can never be. You know why? Because people watch Star Wars and just get people fight with laser swords and get zapped by lightning. That is what Star Wars is. You don't watch Star Wars and watch people just be average people in space. That's not the point of Star Wars. So no matter how you want to slice it, no matter who's, who's, who the actors are, if you, even if you recoup the old school actors, like like they did in the in the sequel trilogy, it's it's not gonna mean anything if it sucks. It's not gonna mean anything. The reason why the original Star Wars movie is is heralded to the, in, to the scene that there is right now is because they were the first to do it. And they had no competition, and they were pushing the envelope with anything that they did. Those are facts. Now the original trilogy, there's still some enjoyable movies, but if I was gonna die and I had the choice to watch an era of Star Wars. I'm gonna watch the Clone Wars because they offer much. They give you, they give you what? People fighting all the time. Jedi instead of battling. Some of the best Star Wars fights in Star Wars. Good storytelling. You can't refute the storytelling in, in the Clone Wars, bro. It's dope. It was like one of the most syndicated, and successful cartoon shows ever. So what has the, the original trilogy done outside of the original trilogy movies? Not much. Not much. Anything that 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 that, that they did that was great was supported by the prequel trilogy. Those are facts. Those are facts. I don't think I need to say anything else. All right, let's go with the plot. The prequels had a better plot, and I know you guys are gonna say, well, what about Jar Jar Binks, you know? Jar Jar Binks was hardly seen in the prequels. He was not even there that much in the first episode, but you mean to tell me that Jar Jar Binks is worse than a bunch of Ewoks, a bunch of teddy bears fighting for the fate of the galaxy? You can't. You cannot. It's just, there is no such thing. Secondly, guys, so, like, yeah, I understand how people don't enjoy the, the, the love story between Anakin and, and, and Padme, but guys, it's relatable. It's relatable. People oftentimes struggle with women to some capacity. And even if you're, like, a, a high-value man, which Anakin, the chosen one, is, that's relatable. He went to a, a top-tier chick, bagged her, and... You know, he went on a rampage because he wanted to save his girl. You know, a lot of people go through that kind of phase of, of going through extremes to trying to get their girl and keep their girl from becoming red pill. It's just facts. And that's literally what happened to Darth Vader. He lost his girl and went red pill. Went from blue pill to red pill. Facts. Secondly, guys, you know what one thing that uh, the prequels did not have? It didn't have incest. You didn't have freaking bad writing or incest where like Leia's gonna go kiss his brother or or, or Luke has a, a crush on his sister. You don't have to worry about that in the prequels. Like, come on, dude. Like, there's just, there is no way. So you're really gonna tell me that that's like, some of you freaks, some of you, 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 you spicy content watchers, you know what I'm trying to say? Like watching those ancestral kind of material, guys, and that's your problem right there. The same kind of people that watch that kind of nasty material, the same kind of people like the original trilogy more than the prequel trilogy. Facts. Those are facts. Right, it's over here. <laughs> Those are facts. Now look, the original trilogy is a good or a great coming of age story. There's no Jedi there. He has to find his way and become a Jedi and face his father, one of the most 
powerful force users to ever live and, 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 and save the galaxy from the Empire. Yeah, that's a great story. It's a timeless story of a, uh, a man coming of age to find his way. But at the end of the day, guys, we want to we see more Jedi do more cool stuff. Imagine the MCU, the best movie series we have out right now, right? Imagine if it's just one superhero. Imagine if it's just Captain America. Imagine if it was just Spider-Man. It wouldn't be as dope. The MCU's popping because they got a whole lot of great stuff and great superheroes flying off the shelves. And that's what the prequels did. It gave you a lot of content from different Jedi and a whole lot of Jedi. The movies and outside of the movies. Comic books, books, uh, novels, whatever. The prequels wiped the floor in the original trilogy because nobody really cares that much about the content outside of the original trilogy. Like the, the regular Star Wars comic book that takes place in the original trilogy that's, that takes place in between like episode um, four, episode five, isn't as great as the rest of the comic books and content that came before. The only thing that, that's that great is the, the, the Darth Vader comic books because you know why that one's great? Because Darth Vader gets to fight other Jedi and other Sith. And that's why those comics are that good. Those are facts. Guys, don't forget to dislike this video because I know a lot of you guys are going to be haters and be like, the original trilogy is better because, uh, you know, they didn't allow George Lucas to like direct this and that. And, uh, um, and, and uh, what's her name? Carrie Fisher was still hot and not old. So, therefore, you know, go ahead and, and, and spout all that hate, guys. Cop some King Kamara t-shirts. The King Kamara Star Wars t-shirts on my Teespring listed below. And don't forget to, most importantly, guys, subscribe to these channels so I can continue you guys more heat and more facts every single day. It's your boy, Brian Mises, the wisest and most powerful of all nerds. I will see you guys next time.